Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoops. If this is your first time coming across the channel, like and subscribe would, would be really appreciated. Adamita, Celtic, the deal is on, finally. After all summer long talking about getting Adamita back on a permanent basis, it's edging closer and closer. Last night, Sky Sports reported that Celtic had been in talks with Norwich between six to eight million pounds for the Norwich City striker. 23 years of age, nine goals in the Celtic short, proves his worth in the Celtic short when he came on loan last January. And a lot of Celtic fans grew to him quick enough, going to Easter Road, getting them two vital penalties, scoring them, scoring away to Motherwell, scoring away at Lowry Brooks, scoring the cup final to win the double for us, scoring them big, crucial goals when needed. And we need to add ammunition to the squad. As we quite know, there's been a departure today. Olsen Lahal is going to Stoke City, the midfielder. But Sky Sports have confirmed today, Anthony Joseph tweeted on his socials that Celtic are in advanced talks for the deal for Adam Eda between £6 million with additional add-ons, which will go up to £8 million. About time. Why did we not do this earlier in the window? All this malarkey of them not being a part of Norwich's new manager's plans, not torn enough for pre-season in Austria against Hoffenheim, being built by the Norwich fans last weekend against St. Pauli at Carroll Road, liking Celtic player stuff, still in the Celtic WhatsApp group. It's been an absolute shambles. We should have had this guy on the 4th of July, should have been confirmed, should have just paid the money. But is it just the case that the board were waiting for this drama so Norwich would negotiate or when they got when Norwich just hold him firm on this so they can make money. At the end of the day, he's only scored 17 goals for Norwich over 120 games, being at the club since 2018. Yeah, he's played a lot of youth football for them as well. He's played mostly in the wing. You know, you had Pukey ahead of him most of the time in his Norwich career. You have Sarton now, you have Sargent ahead of him. You know, it's a difficult time to get into that, but it's a championship striker. He's young, he's Irish, he wants to play for Celtic and he's he's done everything he can to put that move closer. He should have just handed in his transfer request. With four years left in his contract, should have handed it in and see would Norwich negotiate with Celtic. So once we get him up the road, maybe we'll get a medical today or tomorrow. And you never know, he might be annoying to play against Hibs on Sunday. It's been stranger things in football. We've seen him with Scott Sinclair. When he signed from Villa, the day was done on the on the Friday and he was in the squad against Hearts on the Sunday and scored, came off the bench and scored. We all remember that. So about time we're starting to make strides in the right direction. There's been a lot of anxiety. There's been a lot of, you know, um, a lot of fans are getting impatient in regards to the lack of players coming in the door. We're clear now, fair enough, but we need to bring a bit of quality in. I've said it so many times. Quality. If you bring quality in and you compete, you'll do well domestically and means we can move another step in European games as well in regards to Celtic. Eight big games this season in the Champions League. If you want to progress, you have to invest in the squad. Yeah, we do trust the current squad we have, but we need a bit more quality to actually take teams on and be fearless and be aggressive in our play as well. So that's the update. Adam is on the way. Let's just get this deal done and dusted get the medical done and get him up the road get that helicopter up the road from norfolk to glasgow and getting him that yellow kit for the weekend hell hell